Welcome back to P.T. Pop's Pontifications and Epiphanies. I am P.T. Pop. And tonight I wanted to um, make a second video about the restless leg syndrome. And this time I don't have any long-winded stories. I, have, I myself have had, since had, a reoccurrence of RLS. And uh, as I said in my previous video, I thought I had narrowed it down to a couple different things, but the primary thing I had uh, thought was causing my R RLS was bottled water. And But I've also noticed, as I said in my previous video, my first video on this, is that, that same restless leg syndrome feeling when I take cold medication, okay? And there's decongestants and, and uh, antihistamines and things like that that are in um, cold medication that I always found were causing this. Like if I take, I'm not going to name brands or anything like that, just in case this thing goes viral, but there's certain type of cough medications that's designed specifically to make you go to sleep and suppress your cough. Things like that I can't take, whether it's in pill form or if it's in liquid form, like those those little over-the-counter cough medications with a little plastic cup that comes with a little shot glass. But now I've recently linked what I what I used to think was gluten. I thought gluten was giving me a lot of problems with RLS. I really did. I thought it was gluten. But now um, I'm finding that certain types of snack foods will do this to me and um, give me the exact same feeling if I eat them at all. Like if I buy any corn chips, if I buy any potato chips that have like a flavoring, an artificial flavoring like jalapeno, jalapeno lime tortilla chips. I'm not going to say who makes them. And... Um, I found that anything that's got like that powder on, on the chip with a flavoring on it, like a cheese powder or lime powder or a smoky barbecue uh, flour of, of artificial flavor. And um, it's really odd because I notice that when I eat these that same night, I have the RLS. Barbecue sauce is another one. And what I'm doing now is I'm trying to create a spreadsheet of all the different things that I, that I believe is causing the R RLS, restless leg syndrome. And I'm convinced that there is something within these food products that is causing me to have this horrific feeling when I try to sleep at night. And one thing to take into consideration is, is your diet. I truly believe that this is not... This is not a, 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 I'm not a doctor. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a scientist. But I truly don't believe this is a physical ailment with your body. I've seen doctors online saying, come to my office and let me operate on your nerve tunnels. Um, there's a thing in your lower body and your torso, I think, where the, where the nerves come out of the spinal column and they go into tunnels to feed your legs. And they say that they're constricted and this is what's causing it. I don't know about, I don't know if a lot of women get this, but I feel there's some type of ingredient, an artificial ingredient or maybe some type of an antihistamine that's in food. I know they, they fill pork and stuff with antihistamines, but like I was eating some dry roasted almonds that we bought at the grocery store and they had um, a flavor on them. Um, a, se a seasoning. It says here the seasoning is maltodextrin, salt, sugar, monosodium, and glutamate, roast, roast flavor. And it gives you that roast flavor. The almonds that give you the roast flavor it has like a little powder, a salt powder on it. It, it. Every time I eat something like that, I always get RLS. So keep that in mind. Watch your diet. They'll, they'll tell you that it's your nerves. They'll tell you it's your lower back. I swear to God, this has got to be something in our diet because I don't drink the bottled water anymore, and I haven't had this for a couple of years, but the minute I start eating anything that's got any type of artificial flavoring on it in snack food or sauces, things like that, I get it. So this is just something to keep in mind. Um, I don't know if it's the melodextrin 
you know, um, or the monosodium glutamate. I don't know if it's something like that that maybe I'm allergic to, but it feels like it's something within my, possibly my prostate. And it, 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 that's where it feels like something's radiating from that groin area. And I'm not trying to be disgusting. I'm very serious here about this because you're going to find a lot of doctors are out there like snake, snake oil cells. And they're going to tell you they've got a cure for it. They're going to put you on medication. They're going to put you on uh, sleeping pills. They're going to bring their office to do surgery. You don't need any of that. Look at your diet. Look at what you're eating. You don't have to cut out snack foods. Look at the anything with really severe artificial flavoring like almonds don't naturally taste smoky. So they've got to add the smoke flavor to it. Chips that taste like tequila, tequila, lime, you know, well, that's, that's all artificial. A scientist literally sits in a lab somewhere, a group of scientists, and they create these flavors. So they'll taste like lime, or they'll taste like lemons, or they'll taste um, like sea salt and stuff. Um, let me see what these corn chips had in them. They have... I don't even know what this is. Expeller, pressed non-GMO, that's a genetically modified organism, non-GMO, sunflower oil. What expeller sunflower oil is, I have no idea. Non-GMO safflower oil, jalapeno, lime seasoning, again, melodextrin, dextrose, sea salt, jalapeno pepper, I don't know if it's real or not, Green bell pepper powder, melodextrin, white distilled vinegar. Um, lime juice powder. Again, melodextrin lime juice. I'm not certain what melodextrin lime juice is, but I bet you that's a culprit right there. That's that's two of the ingredients on two different snacks that we've had. Let me check what the barbecue sauce had in it. Um, I'm looking at some protein bars that I eat. Do they have the melodextrin in it? No, it doesn't have it in there, but I don't know if that's what was causing it or not. Let me go to the barbecue sauce I had. I, I took pictures of the ingredient labels of, of the things that I had been eating. Excuse the, uh, oh, here's the barbecue sauce. Look, ingredients. Uh, sugar, tomato puree, water, tomato paste, vinegar, apple cider, molasses, water, modified food, starch, salt, contains less than 2% of natural hickory smoke. And here's the hickory smoke flavor again. You got, I got a growling dog in the background in case you can, they're, they're attacking the abominable snowman on my front window. Um, mustard, flour, dried garlic, spice, paprika, potassium, sorbet. To preserve, to preserve freshness. That's all it shows on there. So that, I don't know if the barbecue sauce caused cause it with me or not. So just, just take a look at what you're eating. I I'm thoroughly believe that this is in our diets. I don't believe this is a, um, a mechanical problem with our body. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer or a scientist. But after I eliminated these products, my restless leg went away. It just completely went away. So... I also noticed that when I take high quantities of vitamin B, it comes back. So anyway, hope this helps. I, I think all of you have watched my first video. I'll keep you updated what I find out on these. Have a good night. And uh, click this video and, and like it if you did. Please subscribe. And uh, have a good night.